it's not how much you have, but what you do with what you have. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you are most welcome. My name is Jade Frost and I am a registered dietitian with a passion of making nutrition affordable. This challenge would be ideal for students, people who are living by themselves, um, people who don't like to meal prep or do not have time to meal prep throughout the week. The quantities could even be doubled to suit a bigger family. In this challenge, I prepared seven dishes and that was enough to last my family of four people a total of four days. Stick through at the end, I do give tips on how to rev up those meals that we prepped early in the week. When it comes to the groceries, if not for the 10 buck Tuesday at Food Lovers, I would not have been able to do this challenge. Food Lovers was running a special, uh, they had 10 Rand deals on fruit and veg, some of the protein products, a whole bunch of other things in store as well. And I got notified on the Monday. When I got that notification, I pulled up my notepad and I basically jotted down meals that we were gonna have and this was based on the specials that they were having. I spoke about this in a PDF guide that I shared with a previous video on how it is so important if you want to save cash, sign up for those loyalty cards, get notifications from the stores that you regularly go to. That way you won't miss out on specials like this. So the way I've set this up is that I prepared a variety of dishes that can be mixed and matched throughout the week uh, so that on any given day you're not eating the same thing as the day before. Um, variety is something that is really important in my family. I know that there are a few people who don't mind eating the same thing over and over. Those people do not exist in my house. So that's basically the approach that I've taken to this meal prep. I don't usually advocate for multitasking, but when it comes to meal prep, this is vital, okay? At any given time, there was something boiling on the stove, something was in the oven, and while I was doing that, I was doing something else. This does, however, require some planning, but don't worry, your goal has you covered. I've linked below a free guide for you guys to refer to. For the kitchen setup, I have my knife set ready, scrap bowl, and then I had my cutting board placed on a damp cloth to prevent it from sliding around. I also had my pots ready with water in to boil things that I needed to get going, and my baking sheet set out with the cooling rack. Oh, for cleaning guys, clean as you go. This really helps to not have a whole bunch of dishes at the end that you have to clean. Uh, since it's been winter, I've been drinking a lot of teas and I took a lot of tea breaks during this and these are currently my favorite teas. So I started off at about 3 and uh, once my hands were washed, I was ready to go. So I started off with boiling the rice and while that was going, I was chopping up and preparing my veggies while well, at least trying to. Um, I preheated my oven and uh, guys, I have no idea what's going on with the stove. I pretty much wing it every time I use it. Guys, see, I will use a lot of spices and spices are really, really great. Uh, they have, they are loaded with antioxidants and other beneficial properties. So it's really inexpensive to add these to your meals and they are such a flavor boost. So I recommend using them in most or all of your meals if possible. Love the way that you do, baby, I love the way that you move. If you bang, we bang, we put a whole hand in it like a Pringles can. I've included loads and loads of veg in this meal prep and we should be eating as much veg as possible. The guidelines say that we should try and aim for five servings every single day. So the reason for this is because veggies and fruits are packed with vitamins and minerals. They contain fiber which assists with our digestion and keeping us regular. They are rich in antioxidants, they help to lower blood pressure, protect against stroke, heart disease and also decrease the risk of certain cancers and so much more.
A way to stretch this meat or any other meat in fact is to add legumes. So you'll see to the sausage I ended up breaking it up, adding spices, herbs, garlic and then what I did was added a can of baked beans. Baked beans have protein in them as well so this really helps to bulk up the meal without increasing the cost. <laughs> oh gosh okay but yeah i finished just in time everything is done so that is great i've prepped all of the meals in under three hours however i think that if you weren't filming um letting your camera drop a few times and also not cleaning as you go you could easily smash out these dishes in under two and a half hours So meal prepping everything on one day meant that there were nutritious meals in the fridge for my family to have and I did not have to cook every single day. Amazing. On some days we ate the meals as is and on other days I revamped some of the meals. And then I served this with avocados and we got two for 10 rand. And this was a really yummy meal that tasted as if it was made that day. You could also add an egg and this would be pretty much a complete meal. I also revamped the lentil curry. So to some onions and spices, I added some chicken strips and browned this off. Then I added the leftover lentil curry, some water and allowed that to cook for a little bit. I topped it off with some coriander and this tasted like a brand new curry. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe to the channel. This will help me to keep bringing you content like this. Until next time.